Hey guys, um, I'm off to the grocery store doing this vlog because I really want to try out Oprah's pizza that she sells in grocery stores. It's cauliflower pizza and I saw her advertise it on Instagram. And I also saw it at the grocery store last week in person and thought about buying it. So now I'm actually going back and buying it. I thought it would be like really great to make a vlog about this, to like buy the pizza, see what price it is, make it, eat it, read the box for you guys. And I think it'd be like really fun to bring all of my followers along. So um, that's why I'm doing this vlog. Also, I'm just an Oprah fan in general. And I'm wanting to try new frozen foods that are more healthy. Hey you guys, I'm back from the grocery store and I'm really hungry, but I just wanted to go over the box a little bit with you guys. It says, so delicious, you won't taste the difference. So part of the thing about this is that the cauliflower is supposed to be kind of hidden so that you're eating cauliflower, but you, and, but you feel like you're just eating normal pizza. Oh, oh, that's good. Real nutritious, delicious, classic crust with a twist of cauliflower. A twist of cauliflower. I wonder how much cauliflower is actually in this. Five cheese pizza, low, low moisture, part skin mozzarella, provolone, asiago, parmesan, and romano cheese made with real cheese as opposed to unreal cheese. New, no artificial flavors, dyes, or preservatives. So there's only natural, artif there's only natural dyes and preservatives. What's the twist in our pizza? One third of our classic crust is made with cauliflower, asterisk. Baked to a delicious golden brown, so good, you'd, ne you'd never know the difference. Where does the asterisk take us? I can't immediately find the, where the asterisk takes us in cauliflower. That's slightly unnerving. Oh, here we're, here's what the asterisk says. One serving does not provide a significant amount of the USDA daily recommendations for vegetables. Some vegetables is better than no vegetables and some people eat no vegetables every day. They're, they exist. So um, even though this isn't, you know, a significant amount as deemed by the USDA, whatever that means, I do believe that it is a significant amount for those of us who do not eat vegetables. This is awesome. That's the back. That's the front. There's directions on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and just like start making this. Um, I'm really excited. Um, the recipe on the box calls to heat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then place the frozen pizza directly on the middle oven rack and then bake 19 to 21 minutes or until the edge of crust is golden brown and cheese is melted. Um, however, when I put in the pizza setting on my toaster and chose 10 inch pizza, which this pizza is, um, it automatically chose 14 minutes. So that's what I'm going to start with. Um, if it does need more time, I'll just leave it in longer. Okay, so I cooked it for 12 minutes. I actually left the room and forgot about it, and I think I burned the cheese. 
just a little bit so definitely check on this periodically because it definitely doesn't need to be cooked for 20 minutes in my oven anyway at 400 so but this still looks edible so let's just see what's gonna happen here You can actually see the cauliflower when you cut the pizza. So it looks like it's embedded here into the crust. Just like they said. So that is, I guess, fact check there. Uh, cauliflower does exist in this pizza. Hey guys, so I finished eating one half of the pizza and it wasn't that bad. I actually, I did enjoy it even though I did burn the cheese a little bit. It was still super tasty and um, I didn't even taste the cauliflower at all. Um, it was pretty much like an average taste for a frozen pizza. For the price, it was definitely worth it. It was $7 and I think after tax, probably like $7.30, $7.30, I don't know. Um, so I ate half the pizza and I'm full and definitely ate vegetables. Um, I would have to say it's totally a fine product. I think Oprah made like a, a pretty good, you know, product here. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment below like what type of videos you wanna see in the future. Um, yeah, so anything, just drop me a message. Make sure to subscribe.